I want to take a look at Svelte Autocomplete today. There's a couple things in here that were really frustrating me, and I want to show you a quick trick that might help you out. So for instance, if I were to come into a normal Svelte file, I'm in html.svelte, I would just start typing something like button, for instance. And if this was an object I had a property on, and if I press period, you can see that there's this interface that it's trying to complete here. So if I press period, it automatically would add the game pad button, and I'd have to come back, and I'd have to fix it. And I'd do something like this, button, and I could see it's auto-completing, so then I'd have to like arrow over and then be able to get my prop, right? So that's kind of frustrating. Uh, it can be even worse than that. So for instance, if I was trying to pull something out of an object like list, so right now you can see that there's listen. If I press period, it converted this to listen and also added an automatic import at the top. So I'd have to come here, I'd have to fix this, I'd have to look at what had changed in my history and I'd come up here and delete this. So it's kind of frustrating. There's a lot of things that this would happen to. So, you know, come in here, index, I believe is one. So it just kept doing it all over the place. Now, I was a little frustrated because I could come over here and, and go to my plugin and I could go to my Svelte plugin and I could take a look at this and I could disable this. So I could come grab this, I could disable it and I'll just reload it. But this isn't really great. I know it's taking a second here because you come over here and you see you lose all of your hi syntax highlighting and everything else. So this is pretty hard to manage a file over here when it's like this, right? So that's not good. So I need to have the Svelte plugin enabled, but I just want to have that annoying autocomplete stop. So let's come back over here. Let's look up Svelte one more time. Let's enable this again. So I'm going to come here, go into enable. And let's close out of this. And let's come back over here. To our HTML file. Okay, so we're back where we are. So how can we go through and how can we actually stop this behavior where it's completing these weird things that are just like HTML? So let's come back here and let's go to our settings. Now I'm going to go this gear icon where it says manage. I'm going to click this and I'm going to go to settings. And then when you're in your settings, if you click up in the upper right hand corner, you can get to the actual JSON representation of this. So I'm gonna click this open settings in JSON. It looks like a little file with an arrow on it. And then you get your custom settings here. Now there's a post over here I found on the VS Code uh, GitHub page and someone was asking about this as well and how it was entering all these things that they didn't want. And this answer right here is great. So basically JavaScript and TypeScript are treating the period as a commit character. So it's committing that in accepting that current suggestion. But you can stop that by adding this bit of information to your settings. So I'm gonna go back over to my settings here. And I found this kind of interesting too. So this is a JSON file, but they allow you to have a trailing comma, which is not valid JSON. So I'm not sure exactly what that is there, but I like the fact that we can have a trailing comma in case we wanna add more of these settings later on. But essentially we're coming here and we're putting the editor to accept suggestions on commit character as false. So I'm going to press uh, colon W because I have the Vim plugin here so <laughs> to save this file and basically if I come back over here and I start typing something like button you still get the suggestion which is nice but when I press period I can say whatever my prop or, or whatever it is and it doesn't automatically complete that so that should help with a lot of the frustration of actually going there and having all these things autocomplete when I don't want them to. Hopefully that helps you out. I'm not sure if you're sharing the same frustration, but if you were, let me know in the comments and uh, we'll make more videos like this in the future. All right, see ya.